All right, now that we've got the pinch pot made, there's a bubble inside here. I've got the mouthpiece attached. Next part is gonna be putting a hole in here and trying to make a whistle, which is usually the tricky part. All right, I'm gonna take a, got this flat metal rod, I'm gonna put some water on it so the clay doesn't stick to it. And I just wanna feed this through, straight through, just like that, all right? So that it's underneath this layer of clay right here, all right? So I'm gonna just carefully slide this through. It's about right here. I can feel that it's about right here. All right, my next step is that I'm just gonna chisel out the hole that I want that's actually gonna make this whistle. All right, so it's just gonna be kind of a rectangle, rectangle shape. And this part here is gonna be slanted. And I'm gonna pop this out, get rid of it, clean things up a little, make it nice and smooth. All right, I want this whistle part, this slanted edge, to be as smooth and sharp as possible, because that's what's gonna actually make this whistle. All right, so I'm trying to clean this up as much as possible. All right, now I'm gonna take this out. I have to clean out some of the inside of it. Try to pull this stuff out without wrecking my whistle. All right. Try to keep the wedge. So the air is gonna blow through here. It's going to hit that wedge and I may end up having to put this back through and kind of clean it up again because the hole gets kind of jumbled up. All right. Well, I'll take a look at this and see if it's gonna actually whistle. The more of this stuff you clean out, the better. All right, we'll give it a try. First try, all right, it's all about getting uh, the hole right here cleaned out, having a wedge that lines up with that hole, and uh, making sure that there's no clay gunked up on the inside. And that's it. Once you have that part done, uh, you can move on to the next step.